Wednesday, May, May 8th. Boy, did I have a dream last night. This time, I wrote it down. You ever had, I don't know if you guys ever had dreams so vivid, right? And and you, you know you're in a dream state. And then, okay, I'm going to remember it when I wake up, right? And then when you wake up, you're shown things, right? And then when you wake up, you forget what you dreamed of. You, you, you've forgotten. But you know, you knew que tu soñaste algo. You dreamed something. And it was important. But this time, this time I wrote it down. As soon as I woke up, I said, you know what? I've been listening to some people say, write this stuff down so you don't forget immediately. And and that's what I did. I got, boy, do I got some things. Hope this mic is working. I think I'm about to get a new mic. I give me everything. Everything's coming down quick. There's so much. Let me show you. I don't know if you guys could see this. I wrote, I wrote it down quickly before I forget. And you know something? As I was writing down, I was forgetting the details. But I, I did take this. I got this. Before this video. Oh, by the way, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and share the video. Help me grow. This is my Bible, right? Right here. Pick it up, pick it up, and just open the page wherever, you know, just open the book, close your eyes, and put the finger, and then open your eyes, and see what the message is for today. That's what I do, not not every day, I should do it every day, but I'm, I haven't, I'll be honest. Okay, this is where I opened it up, it's Daniel, Daniel 9, this fell down from the Bible, that's the... I keep in the Bible, you know, in the pages, in the book. That's the Holy Mother. This is why I opened it. Daniel 9, chapter 9, verse 4. And I prayed upon the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to him to them that keep his commandments. That's the verse that I was drawn to. Now, this this with the dream, the dream, okay. The first one was about Brazil, rain, storm, flood, karma, concert, Madonna, evil acts. She did com committed evil acts and God responded. You got to understand the veil is lifting, right? Karma. What do you say? Um, como se dice? The veil's lifting. This dimension is seeing the other dimension. Multiple, they call it dimension. But the Bible says invisible things are becoming invisible. Hurricane, Florida. Text Carolinas up the East Coast record broke punish punish. So I did some uh, I did some research uh, before I went on this re typed in now. So I've typed down hurricane forecast. Mr. Weatherman is the one I highly recommend that everybody subscribe and keep an eye on. This guy's good. I said okay, draw me. As I look, I was drawn to this one right here. 22 to 33 named storms. So I clicked on that. One, it's David Schlott Howard here in the home weather office with another seasonal forecast for 2024. I clicked on that one, right? And I studied it and subscribed and I give him a thumbs up. The thing is, what he, in this video's water temperature is above what it was. I mean, the water temperature right now should be like, uh, let's say July, August, right? Or July. And here we are in May. So the water temperature April the 30th, 2020. So four years Listen ago. And we can see just in those two uh in just in okay, that look at year, that. let alone from twenty nineteen to twenty twenty at the same He's saying this is okay, basically twenty twenty the, the water temperature. We had a lot of hurricanes. Fast forward to two thousand twenty four. This is April thirtieth, twenty twenty four. Look at it now. Look at the last time we saw this, like this, was 2005 when we had all those hurricanes. You know, Jeannie, Francis, Wilma, a whole bunch of others. I forgot. I forgot. There were so many that they had to do another category back in 2005. And that, that there, during that time. And it's already, I mean, I put a link to this video right here. Other forecasts that I'm hearing out there is that, como se dice, it is, are saying the same thing, supporting this. The scientists, NOAA, everybody's giving warning. That's why the insurance rates uh, for home insurance, like mines, went up like crazy. And then if you read the fine prints, this deductible went up, this deductible went up. In other words, you're screwed. Okay. God, there's so much. I'm going to be doing multiple videos because I got so much it and i'm trying to make sense of it a lot of this won't make sense to a lot of people if it, if it doesn't make if you find this content disturbing just just i mean this is not suitable for the weak-minded i mean this is showtime folks we're in, we're in combat we're in a war if you don't see it by now you're more blinded than i am holy bible ban god's word god's word punish Check this out. I went to the ACL 13 hours ago. They're banning the Bible. Now, check this out. You want to talk about drawing in the karma just like Brazil did. 
and and these demonic forces that control this government now i mean they're just poking god and god's god is responding already this is it revelation 17 verse 5 i keep harping that forever we're defending a hospital employee who was banned from lead, reading leading a bible study on her lunch break targeting christian for sharing their faith is unconstitutional we're taking legal action to defend religious liberty join us hospital you know in the hospital the hospital is a traumatic place you got death you got sickness you got you got everything i mean people that died you got i mean this is stress being a nurse seeing people like myself that come back you know heart attack or come back and start saying hey i saw all these butterflies you know like a circle you know and and, and then they look at you who knows Knows how many others? I mean, it's so traumatic in the hospital, death, suffering, sickness, on and on and on. It's a stressful job. I mean, if you want to take your lunch break and take a break and pray for strength, and you're doing this, and this is not only this, California and some other places pulled the Bible from the libraries, and so much attack on the Holy Word, so much. Oh, let me calm down. What was the message? Okay, there's gonna be a lot of hurricanes. What you're seeing right now with the storms. Comet A3. You don't wanna you don't wanna knock me out right now. There's so much things happening. But if you do knock me out in another X class, this is this is earth directed. Let me stay focused. It's hard for me to stay focused, guys. I jump. You ever you ever had that where you jump? Oh, that's evil. What they're doing to Trump is evil. If I do go offline, you can still find me on Twitter X Red Father. Slowly by little, I'm, I'm increasing on the followers. These are the things that I. I mean, we already, we knew about this. Let me go with the storm. Let me put it on pause, and I'll find out. I'll be right back. Oh, before that 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 thing in uh, Brazil, what, what they did, and you wonder why Brazil is getting punished. I mean, we're, we're karma. We're in a we're in a different dimension, reality, folks. I mean, this is this is not like ever before, ever. Oh, by the way, look at this. Men are being arrested for being fathers. Angry guy. Check out that link. is disgusting. And this this is the video I wanted to show. This right here. Now check this out. I'm gonna freeze it in something that. Okay, I think it's. I finally. It was this house right here. Let me put it on widescreen. Okay, this house right here. This is from the tornado yesterday. Look at the food pantries. The house is, we're talking over 200 mile per hour winds. And you're going to notice some things like the food in the pantry is still there attacked. Watch. Zoom into the kitchen. See? Right there. See the how bottles and, and then we got the coffee cups still there. And everything's blown away. I mean, there's, there's, you see stuff like this and you say, how is that possible? Like this one over here. See that? The whole wall, everything torn to pieces, and all these books and uh, items and cups standing like nothing happened. Why do I bring this up? Why? Why is this so? This happens all the time. Yeah, I know it happens all the time, but it's like the finger of God. Like, like God is in play here. You got a nation that's banning, banning the Bible. Well, they started in the 1960s, early 60s, taking away, attacking the Ten Commandments from the public schools. And you see what the results that was. I mean, they've been on this since World War II, the, the you know who, the ones that were fighting back then, the ones that infiltrated and 70 years ago and they teamed up with the communists and the Satanists and all these other evil forces. This, I mean, I know people say it's stock up and all that, but you're going to have to learn survival, folks. You could stock up by thousands of dollars and thousands of dollars of food products and all that, and then a storm comes like this and just blows it away. You're going to have to learn base. You're going to have to learn survival, survival tools. You're going to have to build some underground shelters like these guys are doing bunkers because this is just a prelude. You know, this is just a prelude of more to come. Okay, what's the solution? Solution, if I was, let's say, a, a millionaire, billionaire, you know, that way I could have access. Access. I've lied. Con the governor of Florida, por ejemplo. He's Ron. I said, Ron down. said, listen, man, just give me just two minutes of your time. I mean, you know how you campaign contribution all that that's to get access i would say ron listen this this is a war against god trust your trust your spirit pray on it defend the bible what do you mean by defend the bible make it a law that people have religious freedoms and the and the holy book it's not going to be discriminated it's not going to be banned in the state of florida defend the word of god like the book of daniel just said put it in you know the staff could put it you know, refine it, refine it. Okay, how much a second? I got 30 seconds left. I'm hoping I'm not getting charged $500 an hour just to talk. Two minutes. Say, Ron, 
you got to put the book, the word of God, the father, the creator, the source, the one up front. You got to defend it. You got to say, in aquí en Florida, la Biblia, the Bible is not going to be banned. People have religious freedom to pray. If they want to pray in the hospital for somebody or have a Bible there in the lunch break, uh, it, 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 they're protected here in Florida. You got to take a stance. And what that's going to do, that's going to create like a shield. You're not going to see it. Ah, at the local. No, we're, look, you, if I knew how to speak, if I had the art of speech, I could put all this together. I'm just going by the dream. And this is just the first thing. I mean, there's more. Veils lifting, survival skills, Shep, the comet, moving star, life in star. They know. I renewed there's about the comet and the um, tagalongs. It's not the first time it's happened so many times before. I mean, know about that. This is happening on a daily basis, folks. We're being destroyed from within and out. We could stop this. I mean, we're not, not going to stop it, but we could we can make a little bit better protection. If I knew how to word it, if I knew... Como decirlo, Ron, somebody know Ron, defend the Bible, the word of God. In the beginning was the word Genesis.